Jackson Pollock would disagree. He painted with sticks all the time. Nevertheless, there is nothing more frustrating than getting ready to work on a painting project, only to find that all the brushes in the classroom have been damaged because they weren't cared for correctly. There are many types of paint brushes that artists use. Some are meant especially for watercolor, enamel, or even oil paint. We're going to be talking about how to care for the brushes you use for acrylic painting so they stay in tip-top shape for a long time. A few of the major types of acrylic paint brushes are flat, round, filbert, and fan. Flat brushes are good for wide swatches of paint that covers a large surface. You can load more than one color on the brush for some interesting effects. A round brush is good for thinner lines and detail. The pressure you put on a brush will determine the mark it makes. A filbert is a flat brush that has curved corners. It is especially good for making soft edges or blending paint. Fan brushes are good for making interesting textures. They are meant for blending too. When you are working on a painting, it is important that you keep your brushes in good working order. Since acrylic paint is water-based, you can clean your brushes with water. While you are painting, you may want to switch colors or change brushes. Take the brush you are using and gently swish it around in your water container and then use a rag or newspaper to remove the excess watery paint. You may have to do this more than once. You want to get all the color out of your brush before changing colors. If you are going to change brushes, lay the brush you have just rinsed horizontally. Don't leave it in the water, as it may cause the glue that binds the bristles to the handle to deteriorate. Because you may want to use that brush again in a few moments, you can leave the brush you just rinsed near where you are working for now. You'll do a more thorough cleaning when you are finished painting. It is important that you do not leave a brush with paint in it unattended, or the paint will dry and ruin the brush. When you are done for the day, and it's time to clean up, you should run water over your brushes and use your fingers to make sure you get all the paint out of them. When the water is running clear, you know that you have gotten all the paint out. You can use the mild soap if you need to. Never use your paintbrush to clean your palette, as it can damage the brush. Use a heavy-duty brush, or even your fingers, to get your palette clean. When your brushes are clean, use your fingers to return the bristles to their original shape. A little liquid soap can help, just remember to wash it out before you use the brush again. If you're going to store your brushes in a can or jar, make sure you place them in the container with the bristles up. Leaving a damp brush with the bristles face down will deform the brush and make it unusable. Everyone in art class is sharing the same paint brushes. It's important to practice good brush etiquette so that you and your classmates have the best tools to use. How else will you complete your masterpieces?